Today on Cooking with Katie Pie, we're gonna make buffalo chicken dip. Who needs some last minute ideas for the Super Bowl? Very last minute, the Super Bowl is tomorrow. If you don't have an idea yet, this is a quick and easy and cheap recipe that you can whip up, just go to the store, get you your ingredients, and you can make it. There are several different buffalo chicken dip recipes out there that I've tried before, but this one is my very favorite because it's a lot creamier. It uses an entire, it uses an entire bottle of ranch dressing, so this should be the best one ever. It's also good when it's not Super Bowl time. Anytime you wanna dip, I think we might even have this for dinner tonight instead of saving it for the Super Bowl tomorrow. So what you need is a pound of boneless, skinless chicken. It can be any kind. You can do chicken breast. I got chicken tenderloins. If you're in a big hurry and you don't have time to even boil the chicken, you could probably get a rotisserie chicken or something like that, chicken that's already cooked. 16 ounce bottle of ranch dressing. Eight ounce package of cream cheese, eight ounce bottle of your favorite hot sauce. They were actually out of Texas Pete, which I usually like to use, so I had to get Frank's Red Hot. I also like to add a little bit of just buffalo wing sauce in there. You don't have to add that, so that's not a necessity, but I like to add a little bit extra of that sometimes. Two cups or one package of Mexican shredded cheese, so like the taco blend that has the spices in it. A bag of Fritos or scoops or whatever you want to use to eat the dip with when it is all ready. So the first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350, throw in your chicken to boil. I like to season it with a little seasoned salt and pepper as well. Meanwhile, combine your cheese, cream cheese and ranch in a pan. I like to um, get off of there. I like to chop it up a little bit so that um, it breaks up a little bit easier because that just helps it to melt a little bit faster, it seems. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Yes, you use the whole bottle. Okay, note to self, don't turn on the oven too high or it starts like sputtering after 30 seconds and getting on everything. In retrospect, it might have been a better idea to melt the cream cheese a little bit more before putting all of that ranch in there because that kind of deterred the cream cheese from melting and it made the ranch sputter. So aren't y'all glad that I perfect these recipes before I tell them to you? <laughs> Checking the chicken. It looks like it is white in the middle and done. Don't really know how long I boiled it for, but you know how to boil chicken. Boil it till it's white in the middle. Till it's white in the middle. Pour it out into a strainer. I'm not very patient. I like to run some cold water over it so I can shred it off sooner. Just a little bit. You don't want to remove all the seasonings and stuff that you put on there. And then you can just use the same pan you just dumped it out of to shred it. Okay, it's still really hot, so here's another idea. Get your kitchen scissors and just cut little pieces off. If you have the tenderloins, you can just cut right down the middle and then just cut little squares off. And it works just the same and you don't burn your fingers off. Janelle. And if you have pets, I can almost guarantee you they will beg for some of the chicken. So just be nice and give them some. Here's one for you, here's one for you. And here is one for the kitty cat. Spray a pan, nine by 13 pan. Layer the chicken in the bottom. And then cover the chicken with the hot sauce. and a little bit of the buffalo wing sauce if you like. Next comes this ranch and cream cheese mixture and I ne it never really fully melts for me. It's always kind of chunky, but that's okay because it ends up melting once you cook it in the oven. So no worries if it doesn't melt all the way. Sprinkle the shredded cheese over it. The whole bag, yes, the whole bag. All right, now we're gonna put it in the stove. I mean, in the oven, not the stove. Don't cook it on the stove. And bake it for 15 minutes first. Now we are going to take it out and just break up the cheese with a fork a little bit. Get it all juicy, let the juices seep up on the top part. 
and put it back in for 15 more minutes. Okay, time's up. Oh my goodness, look at how bubbly and delicious. Yum, and it is done. I'm gonna let it cool for a few minutes. Okay, it's time for the hubby taste test. Oh, I can't wait. Let's see what you think. All right, let's see. Mmm. Is it good? Mmm. I think it may be a little too much hot sauce, you think? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! A little bit too much hot sauce? No, that's good. Well, what had happened was I only could find the 12 ounce mm. bottle, so I think I put a little more than eight ounces in there. So make sure you only use eight ounces of hot Woo! sauce. Thanks for watching this cooking with Katie Pot. I hope you'll enjoyed it. If you make this delicious dip, let us know, tweet us. Our Twitters are right down below, so you can tweet us or leave a comment or make a video response or Instagram a picture or whatever. Like the video, subscribe if you want more Cooking with Katie Pies, and also share this video with your friends who might also need ideas for their Super Bowl munchies that they are making for tomorrow. Thanks, y'all. See you next time. Bye. This is insane. And Alabama. That was Katie. YouTube video showing her odyssey of being stuck in the storm. It's nice to see all the nice friendly people from the neighborhood though coming and they're trying to help. Meanwhile, in one that was you! That was so cool! Oh my gosh! They didn't even ask us if they could use that. <laughs>